Hello students, welcome to Maturity Criticism class. I am Mr. Seth Karthiyaini, Assistant Professor, EGM Research Department of English. I am the Panyana Arts College for Women. Today, in this Literary Criticism class, we are going to see what is Literary Criticism. That is, I am going to give just an introduction to Literary Criticism. Okay, first let me start with the definition of Literary Criticism. What is literary criticism? In general, criticism means a work of evaluation. So you are eva evaluating your work on basis of the quality of that particular work. So coming to the formal definition of literary criticism. Literary criticism is the study, discussion, evaluation and interpretation of literature. So you are reading uh, a literary text and you are uh, not not just uh, just simply reading and keeping it aside so after reading that particular text you are discussing what are all the important features uh, notable features in it then you are evaluating the text on basis of its quality whether it is uh, worth reading or not uh, whether the characters the plot and settings themes have all justified uh, to that particular uh, literary work and then you are interpreting uh, about it you give an interpretation by yourself or among with your friends uh, or a crew um, you are you are uh, giving an assessment to it and you are rating that particular literature so this, this is literary criticism in another definition is it's an evaluation of literary works including the classification by genre analysis of structure and judgment of value so it's an evaluation of literary work so you're classifying uh, so that is what i uh, said in the pre uh, previously like you are uh, reading a piece of literature and you are cl classifying under which genre it comes whether it is a poetry or prose if it is a prose it's a short story or an essay or autobiography or memoir so we are classifying the genre and then you are analyzing the structure of that particular work whether if it is a drama uh, we will analyze whether it contains this many acts or this many scenes etc and the characters, settings, and the dramatic features we have to uh, note down. And if it is a novel, again we go for the plot, character, setting, themes, and style, narrative, technique, etc. And finally, it gives a judgment of that particular work. Okay, in uh, simpler language, in simpler words, we can say that literary criticism is nothing but it asks a question what literature is what it does and what it is worth whether it is worth reading or not what literature is so according to uh, we readers or um, we literarians we just uh, say we give different kinds of answer when we ask when we are asked this question what literature is we say it literature is a piece of uh, entertainment or literature gives us uh, a soothing, uh, it's a soothing therapy. Or literature gives us uh, comfort. It makes us to keep ourselves in the comfort zone. So each, for each one, uh, the definition of literature differs. Similarly, what literature is and what it does to the readers. So we all are readers of literature and we are very passionate towards literature and we start reading each and every text line by line or uh, paragraph by paragraph or uh, act by act or scene by scene etc chapter by chapter etc so what it does to us whether it creates any impact in our minds in the, in the minds of readers or not and whether it is worth reading so this judgment or this evaluation we make out from the literary criticism so that is what is the purpose of crit criticizing a literary text Yes, it is a method used to interpret any given work of literature and we have many schools of uh, literary criticism. So that is not very important to us at the present time. This is just an introduction session and uh, we shall uh, see the 
uh, schools and the movements uh, as we proceed with our uh, syllabus okay coming to the very important point why do we have to analyze everything sir you can just ask a question madam it is our duty to read and clear the examination that's it why should we analyze or why should we make a justification or evaluation of a particular work naturally this question arises in everyone's mind even if we were a student when sorry even when we were a student this question would have naturally arose and uh, now uh, the answer is why should we analyze is that because we talk about different experiences right uh, we would have uh, some kinds of um, recreation in our life we would have some happy moments some sort of uh, time in our life so we have versatile experiences in this little life when we talk about those experiences sometimes we'll be relishing those experiences and some which uh, we want to completely forget or eradicate completely from our mind and some um, like as uh, bacon says some books are uh, to be swallowed and some books are to be chewed and digested uh, and similarly some memories are chewed and be and be digested uh, in our minds so we take that much interest in reading a yeah, book of art so after reading it what we do sometimes if we uh, read a poem or a novel or if we read a drama uh, some any one memory comes to our mind that the memory may be um, might have happened in our own life or uh, we would have uh, experienced in any movies we have seen or uh, uh, it may happen uh, it might have happened in uh, anyone's life uh, Um, those persons may be our neighbors or from family friends or relatives like that so the real life experiences are brought out in literature first thing is all our uh, experiences we talk about experiences and particularly the those experiences give us a kind of enjoyment the second point is talking about experiences which involves the search for meaning which makes that is which increases our understanding level okay sometimes uh, we might have uh, faced a misfortune and we would have been in a sickly state why should i or on meet all these kinds of troubles and dangers in my life so we would have thought it thought about it but when we read any piece of literature which is relevant to this situation uh, we would uh, think that it is very much relatable uh, to my own life and we would analyze the reason yeah uh, maybe it may be similar uh, this mishap would have not uh, occurred to me so that's why god has made or uh, the nature has uh, uh, made me to escape from that uh, misfortune or that uh, had saved my life so some or other incident would pave a way for us to realize our own life's misfortunes or fortunes or whatever it is good or bad when we face that and we don't know the reason for that particular um, incident some piece of uh, or uh, some work of art uh, some pieces of literature would um, give us a good understanding level so those experiences can also be related to our life why we talk about these experiences is that the great uh, philosopher socrates have also to has all, he has also told that life which is unexamined is not at all worth living so we should examine our life each and every second similarly just a life we are living yeah we don't know uh, how long we will be in this world so till then we are examining each and every part of our life uh, every day and every second of our life so just we are relating everything to our routine actions also so we are very much acquainted with literature so at once we read a piece of literature we naturally get inclined to uh, those uh, uh, 
words or the situations or settings or plot or characters or even a single theme so we j- we, we just get acquainted with any one uh, feature of uh, that particular work of art and we start examining uh, that particular work so in one way or the other we all are the disciples of socrates because we start examining what we are following his words so what he has said is that um, the life which is unexamined is not worth living so we are analyzing our own life as well as what all we have experienced through literature so that also we are analyzing so this is the reason why we uh, make literary criticism or why we study literary criticism okay an important part of literary criticism is that it helps us to understand what is very much important about the text we should not our reading should not be uh, simply uh, a hobby or a refreshment it should be like a recreation or renovation of our life we should try to know how the literature has helped us to grow in our personal life so there are many components one is uh, the structure the structure of uh, the particular work if it is a poem we make a formalist or structuralistic um, we give a structuralistic approach and uh, we just uh, cross examine what is the rhyme scheme what is the meter what is the rhythm used whether any figures of uh, speech or these devices are used or not so we start examining about that and next we examine the context it is the social background of the writer or the work and economical background historical background why is it written what for what purpose it is written so we start examining all these background details and finally how the text manipulates the reader so what impact does this work create in the minds of the reader so these are the major components we can say to analyze and uh, uh, what helps us to understand a uh, text is is final literary criticism it naturally so when we start examining all these and uh, uh, when we go through some evaluation and assessment we naturally understand the relationship between the text uh, the and the writer so the the author might have some a situation or some incident uh, which he has faced or it may be imaginary so we we could just understand what is the relationship between the writer and the text and also the relationship between these two and the reader who reads the work of art so uh, if we go back to the 17th or 18th uh, centuries mostly novels uh, uh, will be based on uh, domestic themes and particularly uh, jane austen's novels uh, all six novels are based on domestic themes and uh, she has concentrated only uh, on her domestic uh, life and influence and some certain women characters and um, what all uh, she is familiar with only those themes and those characters she will be very much acquainted with so at once we find the relationship between the writer the text and the reader ultimately the the work that is the literary criticism it gives us much enjoyment about our own assessment how able are we to assess the work of art and what is our understanding level so that's what i have mentioned simply that it enhances our the enjoyment of our reading level or it is a reading and understanding of the particular literary work so our reading capacity and the understanding level the readers understanding level with the about, about the text can be understood very well we could uh, make a self evolution with the help of any literary work of art so for that only 
for the, for all these purposes literary criticism uh, is used or we make use of literary criticism it has two main functions so uh, for this time i uh, we have seen why we have to evaluate a work now we are going to discuss about the two major functions of literary criticism one is to analyze study and evaluate in works of literature so this is what uh, we have been seeing for all this uh, time and second is to form general principles for the examination of works of literature so making some general principles which uh, we could have uh, got an idea from plato and uh, aristotle and all uh, classical writers the greek masters and the classical writers roman uh, romantic writers and dr samuel johnson alexander poe so each and every and even the recent 20th century critics and the modern critics so everyone has uh, given some rules or regulations to be followed and they have formed from uh, some general principles um, uh, through this these works of literature how a work should be and how a work should not be work of art this is a literature how it should be and how it should not be so can be understood once we start reading analyzing and interpreting the work of literature okay so uh for this time for a long time we have seen what is literary criticism and i'm just giving a gist of what is literary theory so what is the difference between criticism and theory theory criticism is that we are just making an evaluation or an assessment of a literary work whereas literary theory and literary theory Uh, we are uh, generating a capacity to generalize a phenomenon for example if we take um, the novels of uh, thomas hardy uh, mostly uh, most of the novels will be related to sociological approach how the society is and how uh, even if it can also be uh, categorized under um, feministic feminist approach as well because uh, how women are treated with hardy Uh, hardy's women or uh, in either way in one or either way they will be suffering to the utmost extent but uh, even though hardy uh, have portrayed them as very bold strong enough and self reliant uh, women they will uh, never give up or never uh, fed up uh, at any for any causes so we could uh, make um, a kind of approach to each and every work so literary theory is nothing but the capacity to generalize about a phenomena and to develop concepts which form the basis for an interpretation of a work and the analysis analytical study of a work so that is why on this basis uh, a work of art or a text is called as, as we call it as a literary text because we break those uh, words into pieces we scatter into pieces we calculate or measure each and every word of that particular work and we make an assessment and we provide evaluation so this is uh, literary theory and with this today's session is over thank you I'll meet you in another literature class thank you